All right, we live. Uh, wait for Ross to join. First ever awkward white guy sneakers versus. There's Ross. Let's bring him in. There, we <laughs> there he is. What's up? What's going on? Uh, we just wrapped up uh, my Friday night show called Friday Night Pints. Me and Ross and uh, Feidelberg were chopping it up, talking TV and uh, podcasting and whatnot. And then we got into the sneakers a little bit. This is something uh, we've had in the works for like a couple weeks. Ross had tweeted out saying he'll put his sneakers up against anybody's. I said, let's do it. So here we are, two uh, middle-aged, awkward white guys ready to, to talk sneakers. <laughs> I, I, think, I think what you described is uh, – is probably a similar story for a lot of a lot of guys like us though like we grew up we're, how old are you 32 32 i'm 35 so 30, anybody 33 any, man i'm 33 anybody in this range grew up with mj and grew up with like not only just his sneakers but you know everybody who followed suit and i love the pennies i had you know a lot of signatures lines came out i had the pennies uh, everybody kind of, you know, remembers that one or two pairs they wanted or had or didn't have or whatever. And then we come back around when we're like 30 and too old for this shit. But we have jobs where we don't have to wear regular shoes. So fuck it. Let's buy them. That's ex dude. Exactly. I'm, I'm thankful to have a job where uh, just like you, where we can rock kind of whatever we want every day. Otherwise, this wouldn't make much fucking sense. No, but that's also when when people do hate and they're like, why don't you get yourself a nice pair of loafers? I'm like, because I don't fucking have to. You do. I don't have to do that, man. That, that was the whole point of all this. <laughs> so uh, we, we said top 10 pairs each, which I'll, I'll be honest, this is giving me fucking anxiety, man. Big time anxiety. Let's go 10 to 1 then. All right, let's do that. So I... I, I've been thinking about this. Have you been watching the the, uh, the verses with rappers and producers? A little bit, yeah. See, I love that shit. And I keep, I watch it and I, I like the music, but I'm also thinking about like how you would strategically do it. I'm like, would I lead with my best song ever and then, or close with my best song ever? So I don't know what the fuck to do here. Uh, you want to go first or second? I'll, I'll go first. All right. Um, just because like, I'm going to start with my, my number 10, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And it is this pair of Air Max Ones, okay, that I got several years ago. But what's great about them, and this is something that I would never do now, and that's why I love them so much, is that I got custom get money on the back. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a flex. And that's I, a flex. So I've only worn them a few times because, come on, they say get money on the back. <laughs> <laughs> But I fucking love them though. They're like that a, is a know. move. I, I like that a lot. I feel yeah. like uh, the custom move is is like it's one of what you know. You got to get money on the back. That's 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 yours now, man. That's a special pair right there. Dude, it's the only pair that I've ever customized, and I don't know why I did it. I was probably drunk, and I'm just I love them now. <laughs> so that's my that's my ten. All right, let me go. Um, I mean, I don't even know if I can really rank necessarily, but I'm gonna start. I think kind of where what I kind of just described where where it started for me. This is this is the one. This is either my favorite shoe or my least favorite shoe. Like if it, if I think about what it's made me do and how much money it's made me spend, <laughs> this is the one right here that got me hooked. Oh yeah, dude. This was the one. So this was. I mean, I was probably what, oh, eleven or twelve when this came out, and this was the pair. I mean, in my mind, I think this is just like his sexy. Yeah, I mean, you got to have it. You, like, if you're not into this shoe and you're like from our age and our demo, then what are you even fucking doing? You have the 45s or 23? Ooh, 45. Yeah, I wish I had the 23s, to be honest. I, yeah. I, I did have like one of the early retros. Uh, I did have that, but this is the latest pair I have now. I think it's like the best design, but it's also this was the one I, I never got. And I saw everybody wearing these, and the rich kids had them, and the cool kids had them, and I was like, mm. and uh, I finally, like, you know, 20 years later, got my fix. Okay, same shoe, but the breads. Mm -hmm. The breads. The breads are the ones that did it to me when I was a kid, dude. Mm -hmm. And it was this, it was something about the bottom in particular, mm -hmm. and the fucking checkers, and it hooked me, and I don't know what it was, but these are the shoes that destroyed me. Because they're the ones that, like, they're the ones that when I was a little kid, that, like, a few kids in my grade had them. Mm -hmm. And I was obsessed with them, but they're, like, 
they were like they were wildly expensive because they're crazy nice design man like they're <laughs> really really well put together and well done shoe um but yeah i actually ended up buying like every colorway of that fucking model because i love yep. it that much but that's yeah. the pair that's like for me that i would put in my tent for sure i love uh like there's a couple pairs that i have in mind where i like the bottoms which has got to be one of the most illogical fucking things that a human can do like i love the bottoms i'm gonna walk on like dog shit with them but i gotta have them dude the jordans have sick bottoms though oh, like the tens with like a, like the tens are like a poster on the bottom and you know you're fucking walking on them all the time it's crazy uh let me go uh i'm gonna go ever, i gotta get my air maxes in do you I ever clean the bottom of your shoes kevin <laughs> do you ever clean the bottom i mean not anymore but I, there's there was a time man where i had i had the cleaner the protector the toothbrush and i'm like getting in and all that shit now i think i'm beyond that but oh yeah when i had like my pairs i, I would scrub them like every fucking day yeah the first couple pairs you clean the bottoms yeah <laughs> yep. and you can't you can't stop yourself from doing it it's so stupid you're walking around on them <laughs> But you can't stop yourself from doing it. And then, dude, you Just learn that that's the stupidest fucking thing you've ever done, and you stop. Do you, worry, do you worry about creasing? Not as much anymore. Mm -hmm. um, mostly because I haven't left the house since October of 2019. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just, when I see people, like, like, waddling around with, like, their feet, they're like, no, I don't want to crease them, dude. I'm like, your, your feet, they move, they bend. It's going to happen. You can't do anything about this. Just, just embrace it, guys. The only pair, there's one pair of shoes that I, that I don't abide by my own rule, which is like, I, I'm with you. As a sneakerhead, like, I think if you buy your shoes, you should wear your shoes. Just wear them mm -hmm. out. Take care of them after the fact, but like, you should wear your shoes. Mm -hmm. There's one pair that I'm still like, I don't know if I can step outside. I just don't. What do we got? You want to hold on to it? I'm gonna hold. I want it to be my yeah. last. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I like that. I'm like now. I'm on. I'm on edge to find out which one that is. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Wait, right, am I up going, or you? I oh, think yeah. uh, best Air Max of all time. This is the 2010 Infrareds, the Air Max 90. I I think I like the Air Max ones. Uh, 95s. I don't like really care for. To me, if I had to pick, probably you know probably a non Jordan shoe. Because if I had to pick one, it would probably be a Jordan. But if you're asking me to just pick any other model. I think it's this one right here. Every every color blocking, every design of it, every suede, leather, whatever, but particularly with the uh, the infrared here. I think this is the 2010 one. Love this one. We'll never we'll never get over this shoe. Yeah, that's one that I wish I had, man. That's a that's a beautiful fucking Air Max. Um, I'm gonna stay Nike and go with these. Like, so I grabbed this random pair of blazers. The rose and on the back, right? They have the rose on the back. Yeah. And, like, honestly, when I bought them, it was my first pair of blazers I'd ever bought. And I, I didn't really know what to think. Like, because you know how some of the, like, Chuck Taylor style all the way lace-ups can be really uncomfortable? Oh, yeah. This is a comfortable, comfortable-ass shoe. And it's one, like, more than most of the pairs of, like, nice Yeezys or Jays that I own that I'll get compliments on. Where people are like, dude, those are dope. Where the fuck did you get those with the roses on them? And I'm always like, and what do they call it? And I'm always like, I have no idea. I call them the blue blazers with the rose, dude. I don't fucking know. That's Actually, what the fuck it's funny they that, you, that you threw them out there because I remember seeing those and thinking they were very like Game of Thrones esque. It almost looks like a house crest or something like that, right? And that, it's like, that shoe is, is very sexy, though. It's uh, one I didn't know if it was going to work out. And then when it arrived, I was like, oh, thank God, these are dope. Because mm -hmm. like, you couldn't really tell through the computer sometimes when it's got like something like a rose on the back of it and you're like, is this going right. to play? Is this going to work? And that's it the works. thing, too, by the way. I think – I remember when I first started buying them, I was like black, white, gray, whatever. And then eventually you get like – I got a little more comfortable, a little more. I'm like, all right, I'll do some fucking blue suede with a red rose. I can pull that off. Yeah, it's no a, problem. It's a summer shoe, baby. Let's right. go. <laughs> Let me go. This is actually one of my one of my pairs that's a little more out there. Uh, Jerry Ferraro put me onto these turtle from Entourage when I interviewed him. And I asked him for like one pair – that uh you know is is out there like you know yeah we all have the patent leather jordans we all have this that like give me a pair that nobody really has the nike dunk loons are very sexy apparently this is a, a the, the 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 minnesota soda state bird is a loon and that's what these like the little the little bumps all over it are i don't fucking know all i know is when i this is the shoe when i wear these people are like 
what the fuck is that? He rocked these on the red carpet uh, with like a tux for Entourage or some shit. And I was like, that is a fucking flex. I grabbed them off eBay. When, like, when I first started collecting sneakers, it was like right before uh, Goat and StockX and all that shit. So it was still the Wild West where you could find like a good, a good price, but maybe you just bought something that's fucking fake. Who knows? And uh, when I saw this shit arrive, I was like, I got them. I think I got them cheap too. They're like a hundred dollars. Now they're like five hundred dollars. So this is one of my like. I'm proud of these bears. Those are sick. Those are sick. I very much enjoy those. Um, shit, man, that one just hurt. <laughs> I, yo, I'll be honest. I was uh, I was like confident going in, and then I started to look at your collection. I was like, oh shit, I, I got I got a worthy opponent on my hands. Yeah, I'm I'm probably like a little like. Well, I'll show you a little bit. So, like, I went nuts with Ultra Boosts. Mm -hmm. That was where a lot of a lot of the ones that you probably got better different Nikes and fuck it. For some you reason, I bought 20, I, I bought twenty pairs of fucking Ultra Boosts. Well, dude, um, they're the most comfortable shoe fucking of all time. Yeah, so I, I have to throw one of those in here, and it's the the cookies and cream Ooh. one. <laughs> Like these, these ones were filthy. I've only worn them a few times. Cause I was going to say those look crispy clean to me. Yeah, they're like brand new, bro. Yeah. Like, like they have not been worn, but they definitely. Yeah. And there's something about it too, as like a, a fat kid at heart, when you name your, your sneakers after food, I'm like, yeah, the cookies and cream. I got to have that one. I got to have that one. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. And like you said, the, the ultra boost just, it's still the thing that changed. That was another shoe that really dragged me into the sneaker game. Like you can see, because they were so comfortable but it was a running shoe that was fashionable. Yep. And I yep. was like, what? I, I remember when I, I first saw people. them. <laughs> this is for the white boys. Let's go. We did. I remember when I first saw them, the way that they look online, it like, like the, the, the toe almost like curves up in a way, you know? And I remember yeah. thinking like, what the fuck are these shoes? This is like little elf shoes or some shit. And then I got my first pair and I was like, Oh, I, I get it now. Because it I took me a while to get in on them. Because I'm a Nike guy. I'm like, fuck Adidas. Kanye's not that good. And people are like, you got to try them. You got to try them. And I got them. And I was like, oh. And then, you know, like seven pairs later. This this would be, though, as I say, I'm a Nike guy. Uh, when, when Yeezys first dropped, kind of because I'm an asshole and I'm kind of contrarian at times. And everybody was all over them. And it was so expensive. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. These aren't that great. Jordan for life. Nike for life. Blah, blah, blah. But the one pair from the OG Yeezys that got me, the Oxford Tans, uh, this had my heart from the very beginning. And, and, I, and I like the, the newer models of Yeezys. But to me, that, like, inside where your, heel, uh, where your arch is, love that. Uh, the, the tan was like, you know, you can wear them kind of with anything. This was the one easy that I, I so I bought it after the fact, and I, I mean, I blew a bag on these ones. This was this was one of my stupider purchases where I was like, "Fuck it, I just gotta have them on the collection," you know? Dude, exact. Okay, so same story, exact same story. My next ones are the Moon Rocks, and mm -hmm. um, I think they're still the most expensive shoe I've ever bought. They better be, bro. <laughs> it was, it was. Uh, Actually, you know what? It is funny. I didn't actually buy them for myself. Um, my ex-wife bought them for me. Hey, at least she gave but, you something. But <laughs> first pair, first pair of Yeezys I ever got, and it was like, it was over. That's the one that fucked me on the Yeezy thing because it, it uh -huh. just sucked me at heart. The Moon Rocks are awesome. Um, you know, one thing that's weird with those: Did your insole ever come out like eventually? uh i feel like it's like shaky it doesn't like it's not like yeah oh yeah i mean just i ended up ripping the motherfucker out dude yeah this so i, I mean that was, that was insult. way too easy right there <laughs> yes but uh for whatever reason the, the moon rocks dude and they're still so expensive like i don't know why those fuckers are so much money but they're, I, they're just, still I, think, out. I just think they're still so rare i mean i i, I love you know some of the easy designs are, are no doubt dope but when you just release like fifteen fucking pairs total, and the and the world goes crazy for it, I was I I was banking on like one day they'll they'll retro them like they did Jordans, and I just don't think that's that's coming anytime soon, man. So I think if you've got one of those pairs, you're like one of the few in like the world who has it. Yeah, they're sick too, um, and they go with like they go with a lot. They're really easy to pull off. That's another thing with, with those that were huge for me. Well, I'm I'm gonna go a little modern here with something that's not hard to pull off, but I think this is probably or that is hard to pull off. I think this is probably my rarest sneaker. I think it's like one of like three hundred. Fear of God questions are I mean, 
this this is and it comes with like the the little like peach uh whatever lace lock. Yeah, yeah. So this one lace I, lock. So I got the black ones when they first dropped. Like a, a guy hooked me up, and then a fan reached out to me. He's in those only came out like I think in Chicago in stores, and this fan reached out and was like, "I'll throw your uh, your size in a raffle if you want." And I was like, "Yeah, whatever, dude. Thanks." And my size hit. I felt so bad. He's a twelve. I'm a ten and a half. And <laughs> mine hit. And I was like, "Are you sure you can't? Like, you want to sell them? You want to have them?" And he's like, "Nah, man, they're all yours." So he like. He was in Chicago and eventually was in Connecticut and drove them down to me. It was like the nicest thing a fan's ever done for me. But these, man, the fear of guys in general, I think are like this, – this is probably a shoe that back when we were in our like boat, boat shoes phase that I would have been like, what kind of fucking asshole would wear these? And oh. now that I'm in my sneaker phase, I was like, this is the coolest shit I've ever fucking got, man. <laughs> and to be clear, I still feel like what kind of asshole would wear yeah. these – <laughs> and even so, one of the pairs of I told you about the divorce, the, the divorce sneakers. Yeah, I, I went with the triple black. Woo! Yo, see the triple black smart too though, because that you can kind of pull off. That's the thing. That's black what... sneakers. I was freaked out by like trying to pull off because they're crazy ass shoe. Don't get me wrong, it's yep. a fucking shoe. But I was worried about being able to pull off any of the other ones. And now that I had, now that I got those, I wish I had some of the earlier pairs that are so sick and they're so expensive on resale for some fucking well i guess they were 350 retail regular retail yeah that one jerry lorenzo went off on these and was just like hey, that was his kanye moment where he's like the world's gonna love this shit we're gonna charge through the roof for it this that when when i first opened them up and it comes in the the giant box with like the astronaut like sealed bag I was like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm the asshole I made fun of, like, five years ago. No doubt. <laughs> and then there's a huge, like, a, a very nice, like, Fear of God duffel bag, like, inside of the box and shit. Like, I, I was like one well, of the only boxes I've kept. I, I was like, I'll, I'll use this duffel bag. I mean, I don't even fucking see you later, man. Goodbye. I'm never going to use it. Ever. Never. Never. Uh, is that one? Uh, am I up again? Yeah, I wish I could trade you, though. Those are sick. Those are sick. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we can one day. Here, here, this is uh, my only sneaker that I know is one of one. This was a custom pair that uh, my guy, Rich Franklin, who is like the dude who designs a lot of the barstool clothes for me. He took an NMD and put this quilted uh, sweatshirt material on it that we are like our biggest. Here it is right here, actually. So, you know, barstool always sold like regular T-shirts and novelty shit, you know. And then he came along for us and he designed this quilted hoodie which like opened up the world of, you know, barstool clothes in a huge way. So we took an NMD through, uh, through the quilted on there, made like the, this leather pull tab on the back, the stripes are leather. And I, I, these were ones I didn't wear for a while cause they were one of one. And it's like, you know, it's like when you get, you stay in a sweatshirt, like now it's like sneakers. Like it's not, not the most durable of, of shit, but I started rocking these cause I was like, I, I just have to wear my sneakers. I can't look at them and just have them sit there. So this is my only one of one that uh, we, we talked about maybe trying to sell them one day, but I don't even know if it's like possible. So shout out to Rich for making these. That's fucking, uh, it's very like, I, I don't even know how I would go about getting someone to make me a one of one sneaker. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go flu games. Woo. Just now, nice. dude. There's, there's history behind that, you know? And I had them as a... Ch okay. I had them when I was, like, a fucking 12-year-old or whatever. And I wore them... Because, like, all these little white kids I went to school with wore Jays when they played basketball. And I was in the basketball mm -hmm. team. And uh, <laughs> I, this was, like, the pair that I got and got to wear. And th there's no way... No way in hell that my tiny middle school white ass looked like anything but a dumbass running yes. around. Me. I know. Yo, all, all Jays in general, like, I think they're great for, for what we do now. But wearing them on the court, like, I mean, when you, you play in a pair of ones, they're shoes from, like, the 18th century. They're fucking <laughs> crazy. And, 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 yeah, I mean, and the, the 12s particularly are pretty clunky. They're pretty thick. And when you think about, like, they probably went, like, halfway up your shin when you were, like, 14 years old. You know what I mean? You look and ridiculous. I'm the I'm like have no fucking skin pigment. They're white or they're black and red shoes, and I have chicken legs and like dude, no for any Jays, I have to have pants on, son. I can't be wearing these fucking <laughs> shoes with shorts. I'm too white, way too white. Dude, I played on a basketball team in the Bronx. It was me and one other white kid. 
His name was Nick Bavona. He was this like fat Italian kid. Everyone else was from Co-op City, way better than us. Black kids with swag, and we we were playing this team. It was like uh, the court was like they called it like the pit. It was like uh, I think it was a, a, a drained pool. So you had to like go down and play, and there were fans like around the top. It was fucking crazy. Oh, fuck. This is like a fucking NBA street. It, level. it felt like it felt like that. I was like, where? What are we doing? We got our asses fucking kicked. But this one kid, Nick, was walking in. And I think he was wearing the 13s, the, like the white, white, crispy 13s. And the crowd was heckling him. And this, this girl was like, you better live up to those Jordans, boo. And I was like, he's not gonna. We're not oh. living up to our sneakers, man. I was like, I'm not wearing Jordans on, uh, like, for this league ever fucking again, dude. Because you can't. I mean, you do look kind of. It's not made for people like us, dude. <laughs> no, it, especially not on the court in shorts. No. Right. No, <laughs> no. Hell no. Um, all right. Um, blah, 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 we got blah, blah, three blah. left each, I think. Okay, three left. Uh, I'm gonna go. I got. I got to get these in. I feel like it's maybe a little cliche, and when they kind of when they retro them, I, I feel like it kind of uh, ruined them a little bit. But the black cement threes are. I, when they were rare and they were hard to find, I hate to be that way. Like, so those are like from the OG batch. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. This, oh. this is oh, like okay. the the 15 or whatever, like the most recent release because I never had them. And despite no matter whatever, no matter what, how much my paycheck ever grew, part of me had a mental block of spending like six hundred dollars on sneakers. I just like couldn't bring myself to do it. And then when I heard they were going to be retroing them, I kind of waited it out. But I I wish I had one of those OG ones. Because if you were walking around with the black cements before everyone had the black cements, it was like, you, you're you the real deal. You know what's up. So these aren't the ones I would truly love. But if we're going to be talking like best of all time, to me, this is right there with the 11. Those are sick. I, I wish they did a little more on the last dance with the sneakers. They, they, they had some tidbits about how he wanted to go to Adidas and all that shit. But I think you could do a whole other documentary just on the sneakers alone. Honestly, that the crazy thing that he wanted to go to a deep, like that, the, that is such an insane fact to me. That, that think about how, the shift there, how different the world would be. I mean, they, that, they made what was it like a hundred and thirty mil in eighty like five or six or whatever it was with that. That that's like a trillion dollars in that day, and they could have <laughs> Adidas. Like that's up there with me. With like, dude who sold his Apple stock too early and all that shit. One of the all time misses in business and sports. They, cause they couldn't get a shoe done. They, cause they is, couldn't like come up with a shoe. What, what was that? Were they like worried about soccer? I don't even know like what their reasoning was behind it. Like, how do you not just figure out a fucking shoe, guys? They were like, oh, we don't know. You know what? We thought about it. We really couldn't come up with anything, man. You know what? Just go do Nike, man. Like, fuck it. It won't be a big deal. You know, whatever. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna go uh, with the, with these fuckers here. Cause it was a pair. It was another pair of the Yeezys that, like, uh, first of all. I hit these on Adidas. That right there. Oh boy, that I mean, that's like you are one of like I don't know seven people who did that. Not resale, dude. It was that's crazy. Adidas. It was the only fucking pair I've hit, and it was oh, you know what it was, dude? I I paid for a bot. Oh, you went in, huh? You did that. I never <laughs> dabbled in that world. How does that even fucking work? It's just like it's they so just fucking get stupid. It just works. I don't even know if it works anymore because I think this was way back when, man, when these dropped. Yeah. So it was yeah. like, uh, and I've worn the fuck out of them, as you can see. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, it was like you pay $100 for the bot service and they essentially guarantee you they will pull you a, a pair, your pair of shoes, but you Honestly, have to pay the price on top. That's, that's I mean, for well, when what you pay retail. Now, yeah, These shits are like thirteen hundred dollars or some right. shit on StockX. It's like, well, yeah, I paid three thirty, but that's way anyway, got the, the bots. That's when you know you're getting deep and nerdy with it, man. The that bots. was the only time I went that route, though. Now that I'm remembering clearly, and it was yeah. kind of shameful. It felt I felt a little dirty. It's like cheating, like, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. But now you can't. I don't even know if that works anymore, dude. They've got so many. I, dude, I can't even get on YeezySupply.com on my cell phone anymore. I mean, it's a constant pinwheel for me. Constant no, I don't even get a pinwheel. It tells me I'm not allowed. <laughs> oh, like I have malware, some shit says. Maybe because you use because of the bot? They're like, we don't fucking let you in I'm anymore. telling you, I think it might be because of the bot years wow. and years ago. Honestly, 
kind of worth it though, because we're never going to hit on Easy Supply ever again anyway. So you might as well, might as well get a good pair out of them. Yeah, that one's the, one of my favorites of all time. All right, I got two left. I know what my last pair is. I'm going to say something super obnoxious here. I don't know where my off-white Prestos are. <laughs> I think they're at the <laughs> office. When you're losing off-white Prestos, it might be time to reel it in because that sounds like a fucking asshole thing to say. Uh, oh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go a little off here, a little off the reservation. And I got a rep for a brand that I love that is very polarizing. But I'm a New Balance guy. And these right here. Ronnie, okay. Ronnie and Kith. Uh, Ronnie Feig does these. They're called like the uh, New Balance Cyclades, I think. He did like a whole Greek island uh, pair. And, I mean, wild coloring. People, my, my kids make fun of me for this. They're like, Daddy, you're wearing your silly shoes. I'm like, yeah. That's enough. That's enough, okay? Daddy likes weird shoes, okay? But I just I wanted to make sure I got a, a New Balance in here because you either think of New Balances as, like, dad shoes and lame, or when I see this, I see, like, every collab that's ever happened, every designer who ever threw something on a 997 or 998. And uh, so I love, the, I love New Balances. I had to give them a little bit of love. Those are very, very badass. Every pair of fucking Kith New Balances I've seen, I, I end up wanting Dude, I mean, they're, look, these are another pair. It's like black and blue, and it's just like a sharp. It's all suede. It's all leather. It's all like real high quality. I got these J, J. Crew ones, the kill shots. Like, and there is a part of me that's like, you know what? This is maybe a little more appropriate for my age and my race, <laughs> right? Which is how like I, I struggle with that. I mean, fuck it. Like, it, not this really, is, you know. But this is like the, this is not one of my pairs. But this is like a, a one of the only pairs of shoes I have where I'm like. These are appropriate for my white ass. Right, but that's also... Ridiculous Asics. That's like, uh, you know, when you say that, it's like, yeah, well, I don't want to wear lame sneakers. White people are supposed to wear lame sneakers. I'm breaking the mold. I, I'm not doing that. Fuck it. Republicans buy sneakers too, or whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I'm going back to back 350s, which is not how I anticipated this, but the clays I love, okay? Mm-hmm. So about the way they went different with they didn't they didn't fucking slap the obnoxious supply whatever the hell on the side mm -hmm. i like the, that like grid kind of it's like yep and it's it makes it easier to pull off with like different different colored shit that you wouldn't think you would be able to pull these off with mm -hmm. um all in all the 350s are just super comfortable and this pair is one that uh that i've pulled off like some of my favorite more obnoxious outfits in and that so, that's so you're you're like a favorite easy pair guy of my shoes. You're like a easy guy through and through then, huh? I mean, yeah, up yeah. until uh, right up until my number one, which you'll see in a sec. All right, this is mine, and I knew it from the jump. It, f it will probably forever be the Witherspoons. Oh, this yeah, is this is the best uh, the best plug situation I've ever had. Like a dude who uh, was on like sneaker Twitter, Tyler Blake hooked me up with him, and. I'm like I'm like forever indebted to him. I got these at retail, I think, and it was just what? Like, yeah. This this to me, in a weird way, like I said, I'm usually like black and white and gray and normal shit. And when I saw these, like corduroy, rainbow, wild colors, yellow. I mean, I don't know how or why this worked for me, but it does. And this to me is like, this is the ultimate sneaker. It's you know a hybrid Air Max. It's cocky. It's the different materials, and if this is a weird shoe too, though, because if you if you're in the know and you like this shit, you're like, oh my god, like those are wild. I wore those uh, when we interviewed Bill Burr, and you can imagine Bill Burr is a pretty like, you know, old fashioned guy, and he was like, what the fuck are you wearing on your feet? And I was like, <laughs> I swear, Bill, they're cool. I swear, man, I swear. I was like, I never in my life wanted to have a pair of Asics on more in my whole fucking life. Somehow the one guy on earth who can make fun of me for this, he did. But if you do know. You know, I mean that to me, best sneaker I'll ever have. That is uh, those those two you just came with at the end were were very damaging to my uh, my chances here. I feel like <laughs> my look, my last pair is a, is the, was the most expensive pair I bought out of my little uh, my little divorce trio. The, re the retainer my, pair. I love this storyline. By the way, these sneakers make me happy knowing that this is your divorce retainer that comes back to you and you blow a bag on them. What do we got? So I went, I went, I had to do it, man. And I, and I went and got the, the original ones and I paid the fucking price and I went oh. and I, and I went and I went nuts. Um, wow. 
Dude, I didn't see that coming. That was I've, just, I've been wearing them around the house. The end there. This is the one, though, Kevin, where I'm like, I don't know if I can go outside. I feel you. I was going to, when you said that, I was like, what could it be? You got to wear your sneakers. But that belongs in a museum. That's a piece, of, that's a piece of art. You know what I mean? Yeah, the 85s with no Jordan branding other than the fucking uh, yep. the little Air Jordan crest or whatever they called it at the time. Like, yep. they got the fucking high fucking pad in them and shit. And, you know, I had mids forever, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had these bitch ass mids that everybody <laughs> makes fun of. Yo, when everybody you buy, it's so funny. Me. When you first start out, I remember buying mids being like, eh, I don't want the high ones. Like, it's fine. And then people are like, Ew, mids, I'm going to puke on your shoes, dude. Trash. Dude, trash. I had no clue. And then a couple years ago, out of nowhere, people started flaming me left and right. Yeah. So when I got that divorce retainer back, that was the first. I knew I was going to buy him, man. I've had him for only a few weeks now. So it's kind of yeah. weird as my number one. But it was like the dream shoe that I wanted to get that was just out of the range of me mm -hmm. allowing myself to spend resale. And I finally got a reason. So the thing is, it, it's new, but it's not. You know what I mean? If it was a shoe that just dropped and it's your number one, it's weird. But that's a shoe that most people have been coveting one way or another for 30, 40 fucking years. I mean, that is – and if you're – like we said, if you're an MJ guy, you grew up in that era, the whole nine, that is more of a piece of art and, like, a relic than, than even a sneaker. I, I, would, I would maybe, like – is it weird to, like, put that on display? Like, I would maybe put that on, like, a shelf or some shit. That's I don't think that's thing. weird to me. That, to me, yeah. that's not that weird, honestly. Right. It's, it's like art. You said earlier, like, how did he fucking ball in these things? They're like a 1940s shoe. It's like you. It's like you've stapled like two pieces of, of paper around your ankle and like, let's go play basketball. And I'm sure at the time dude. it was like revolutionary, and now it's like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> well, when Crazy. they in the last dance when they showed him like taking off to dunk in those, I was like, it's honestly a miracle he could even jump. Like, <laughs> I know. I was waiting for them like shred apart, break your ankle, the whole nine, man. All right, good stuff, dude. I feel like uh, I mean this was a cl closer race than I anticipated. I I I was thoroughly impressed. Uh, I I feel like it's kind of up to personal preference, to be honest. It's like, are you a Yeezy guy, a Nike guy, old school, new school? Now so, I'll give you uh, this: you have a definite, you have a better very variety. Yeah, okay. I I I, uh, I branched out a little. I was like hardcore Nike and Jordan at first, and then I mean I got a bunch of sneakers that people almost clown me for that are just like regular shoes. I don't. To me, it doesn't have to be rare or expensive or, you know, if I, I like the colors and the design and the brand, like, fuck it, whatever. So I, I, I branched out for sure. Uh, I don't know about you, though. Like, during quarantine, I'm like, I'm looking at how much money is sitting here and I just wear, like, slippers all goddamn day. I'm like, what the fuck? Can I get back out there and, and wear the Yep, yep, 100%. 100%. It's miserable. What I've been doing is, uh, like, when I record my show or whatever, I'll, I'm serious. I'll come, like, put one of my favorite pairs on just so they're getting some use. Just get the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my, they're like my friends that I haven't seen. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, come here, guys. Let's oh, hang God. Out. Reminds you All of right, better good, times. Good shit, man. Uh, we'll have to do it again. Maybe next time we'll do a we'll fucking start rapping. We'll do a real battle. Who knows? <laughs> Hey, I appreciate you, Kevin. Thanks for doing it with me, man. That was a blast. Uh, you can all let man. us know in our DMs what you think, who won. Hit us up. See you next time. Peace.